Well, what Takatau Boy means to me is that it's a blend where you embrace both your culture and sexuality. You need to embrace both of those aspects of yourself, not just be one or the other, and then have those in harmony. That, that, that's my definition of Takatau. I can be tangata whenua, I can be Māori, I can acknowledge my ancestors and the fight that they made, but also acknowledge that I'm part of the rainbow community. I can acknowledge that there has been a continuous fight for our rights and for equity and I can acknowledge that that is still happening all in one identity. Being Takatapoi means to me being able to celebrate both my gender and sexuality diverseness as well as my cultural diversity and my heritage. I am better able to kind of connect both of those aspects of myself and it just makes me feel more complete. To me, being Māori is one of the many facets that make up my ethnicity and this is my native country and I'm surrounded by so much of my of that part of my heritage. It's become like a major cornerstone in my ethnic identity. I wish some things people knew about being Māori and LGBT. It's not easy to like juggle culture along with general binary norms into a underrepresented identity. It takes a lot of self-love and time to find yourself before you can even tell people about it. There is often the acronym that gets truncated, you know, at the most known identities regarding sexuality. So it's important to me that culture is mixed in of sexual orientation so that it encompasses you fully what you're about without because I don't see that they're mutually exclusive they have to be seen together so it like really gives a, I guess a whole perspective of your being rather than just part of it. Some hard things about being takatapui include having trouble potentially relating to other people within the LGBT community because I am mixed race and also Māori and sometimes people can be a little bit ignorant about what being culturally diverse means. Something I struggle with very often is like being bi and being part Māori is that people often assume I'm like 100% gay and that I'm like 100% white and it can be quite difficult to put myself out there and be like no that's not a fully accurate belief in who I am. For our rangatahi up and coming to assert their identity and not conform and this comes from Rose Pere who's a prominent Māori healer. She calls it the expression stand in your own mana. So you don't need to fit in. You need to be yourself and if people embrace you kāpai, if they don't then they shouldn't really be in your world anyway because they're not accepting you as you are. Being Māori doesn't mean that you're anything less and being part of the LGBT community in general doesn't mean that you're any less either. They're both accepted and a part of life. Hewaka Ikinoa, we're all on this journey together.